In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I grew my YouTube channel from zero to 1,000 subscribers in just 147 days. If you're a small YouTube channel currently and you wanna look at ways to grow, or if you wanna get into YouTube channel for 2021, this is gonna be the video for you. I'm gonna give you my five best tips for growing a YouTube channel from zero to 1,000, and I'm also gonna take you through my YouTube analytics over the last five months to show you exactly how I came to 1,000 subscribers. There's been a few things that I've done along the way that's really helped me get there a lot quicker, and I really wanna bring you that information today. So if you do get any value out of it whatsoever, remember to hit that like button. It's very, very much appreciated. There's gonna be a stack of information in this one. I can't wait to get it across to you and help your YouTube channel grow to a thousand as quick as you can. So let's get into it. So the big moment came for me on December 2nd, 2020, about 147 days after uploading my first ever video on YouTube on July 8th. And when I think back to July 8th, I really had absolutely no idea what was going on. I didn't know how to edit a video. I didn't know how to speak in front of a camera. I had no social media following that I could kind of just push people towards my YouTube channel. I was starting from scratch. And I really wanted to begin the video today to let you know that if you are starting from scratch out there and you wanna build a YouTube channel, you still can grow really fast from that at zero to a thousand. It's gonna be these next five tips that I'm about to tell you that are really gonna help you get there as fast as you possibly can. So let's dive into the first tip. Hopefully you get a heap of value out of this. Get the notepad out, it's gonna be a bit of info. My first tip for growing a YouTube channel is consistency. You've just gotta be consistent, not only in the regular scheduling of your uploading, but also what you're actually talking about. You've gotta pick a niche, you've gotta pick a topic that you wanna talk about and you've just gotta to stick to it. You've gotta make that your channel. It lives and breathes that specific topic. You can't kinda of hop and jump and do a heap of different stuff. You've just gotta center it around one specific category and just stick to it. But then on the other side of consistency is you've just always gotta remain very strict on how many times a week you upload, whether it's once, twice, three times, every single day. Whatever you say you're gonna do, you need to remain consistent. For me, it was initially in that very first month, two videos a week. And then within the second month onwards, it grew to three videos a week. And pretty much from the second month onwards, I've never missed an upload schedule of three videos every single week. And I think that's been probably the single most important way I've been able to grow to a thousand subscribers is that I haven't missed an upload. I've always pretty much every second day for five months, put a new video out. So consistency is crucially important. It lets the algorithm know that you're here on YouTube creating content, you're not going anywhere, and you're talking about a specific thing. So pick what you're gonna talk about, schedule in the time that works for you, because everyone's different. You might only be able to do one video a week, and that's okay. But set yourself the goal that whatever your schedule looks like, you're never gonna miss a video, because consistency is so, so important. My second tip is business development or marketing your YouTube channel. You've got to let everyone know that you've got a channel and they should be tuning into it. I did this through two different areas. One was adding Facebook groups that were interested in e-commerce and online reselling, which is what my YouTube channel is about. And then the other one was an Instagram page. And with Instagram, I would spend two hours, literally two hours every single day adding and messaging people that were interested in online reselling and just having a conversation with them through the DM. Um, I've added over seven and a half thousand people on my Instagram and pretty much every single person that I have added on Instagram, I've sent a personal message to saying, go and check out my YouTube channel. And I've done this every single day. It's been a copy and paste style to make sure that I can get through the volume as quick as I can. But the message is genuine. The message is that I'm interested in reselling. It's great to connect with you. I've got a YouTube YouTube channel on YouTube, go and check it out. And then at the bottom of that is a link to my YouTube channel to make it convenient as possible for them to check it out and hopefully subscribe. But I would literally do this for the 147 days. Well, I probably started it after 30 days. So for the last 120 odd days, for about one to two hours every single day, I have been adding and messaging people on Instagram pushing them towards my YouTube channel. And after that one or two hours, I would instantly see either two to three people on average have subscribed to my channel. So it clearly worked. I would, I would be confident in saying that I've probably through that aspect of DMing people on Instagram, gained about 300 subscribers. So a good 30% of it has come from me proactively speaking to people within my certain niche on Instagram about it. So 
an absolutely crucial step. If I didn't do that, I think I'd be sitting at around the six, 700 um, with a long ways to go, but it has just been an absolutely crucial step that's got me quicker. It's taken a lot of time and effort and work, but I think if you wanna get there as fast as you can, you've gotta put in the work, you've gotta put in the time and the effort. And for me, Instagram was just the avenue that was able to get me there quick. On a Sunday, I would upload a video and then I would share it to every single Facebook group that I possibly could within the reseller niche as well. But I didn't wanna flood that I didn't want to put a heap of content through Facebook groups and annoy everybody in those groups. Um, so I just made it every Sunday. So I would put up the, the Sunday video and say, hey guys, you know, subscribe to the channel if you like. Here's my latest video. So tip number two, business development. It's such a crucial thing. You've just got to put in the time and the effort and the work to get the results because that's the only way you achieve success. My third tip is to just be yourself and to tell your own story no matter where you're at along the line. If you're just starting out with something like me, I was an online reseller, wanted to get into it. Now I was part-time casual, wanted to be full-time and I'm documenting my journey of becoming a full-time reseller. I'm not the biggest and the best reseller. I don't know all of the information, but I figure I can still turn the camera on and tell you about where I'm at and that's gonna be receptive to some other people on the other side. And you're always gonna hit a larger audience when you're talking from a genuine place and just trying to tell your story, tell you what you're up to and really just be honest. Just be honest and be yourself and that will actually just get people interested in your channel a whole lot more. Don't fake things, don't try to make it bigger and better than what it is, just be you. I think it's a really important step that a lot of people can try and avoid and try and you know change things up but it's a very simple process when you just are yourself and you turn the camera on and you just don't change a thing. Be who you are, talk about what you're doing and people will be receptive of that. Tip number four would be quality content. And what I mean by that is your best version of quality content. Now, you might not be the best video producer in the world, but as long as you're putting in as much as you possibly can into making each and every video you upload the best it can be, your viewers are really gonna appreciate that. And they're gonna see the progression because you are gonna get better each and every upload. I remember my first video on July 8 was awful. And when I look to my 60th video that I've just put out, I can see that I've slowly got better along the way by trying to put in my absolute best effort. So your viewers are going to appreciate it and you're also going to get a lot better in the process. So make sure for tip number four, what you're putting out is quality. And if it means you need to sacrifice how many videos you're putting out each week to make sure that it is your best work, I would sacrifice the content in total number of videos each week to make sure that what you're putting out is the best that it can be. And my last tip would be to just start and never give up. Hit that record button, record your first crappy video and never look back. Stick to a schedule, be consistent, upload as many videos as you possibly can, get that first 50 out of the way because they will be your worst, but just never give up along the way. It's gonna be a long journey, a long slog, but there's one way that you won't hit a thousand subscribers and that's by stopping creating content. If you simply keep creating content, you will hit a thousand subscribers. It's just a matter of time. But if you put in the right practice and you remain consistent, you put your best content out, you DM and you let everybody you know out there, you're gonna go a long way to getting that thousand subscribers really, really quick. It's about just being consistent, diligent, and making sure that you're doing all the little things right that'll get you that first thousand as fast as you can. So everything that I just spoke about, I implemented from day one. That was my blueprint. Those five tips, I wanted to stick with those five tips and never give up on them. Just continually put out content and see what would happen. And what I'm about to show you is exactly what happened. I'm gonna break this up on YouTube Analytics into five months. Everything that you're gonna see is for that collective 30 day period. It won't accumulate. I'm gonna show you a couple of graphs at the end that show you the full picture of five months on YouTube. But each one along the way, I'm gonna break down what that first month, what that second month, third, fourth, and fifth look like, and what happened along the way to keep boosting my numbers up to be where they are today. So let's kick it off. I'm gonna pull my channel analytics up for that very very first month, that first 30 days on YouTube to give you a bit of a look at the numbers to see what you could potentially aim for in your first month. So if we pull the map up here, as you can see here, I gained 847 views after 30 days and I was absolutely stoked with 847 clicks in just 30 days. To me, that was a massive number and it probably is a good number. I was just really happy with it. To get a watch hour of 60 hours, well, that was pretty poor to be honest because to get monetized, you need 4,000. So after one month, I thought, geez, 
there's going to be a long way to go here. We've only got 60 hours. We've got a whole lot more to do. And my subscriber count grew to 83 organically. The business development and the messaging on Instagram and Facebook that I spoke about, I wasn't doing that for my first month. I didn't really know that that's what I needed to do until that second month. So my first month, I just gained 83 subscribers by putting out nine videos for the month of July into August. So they were my first 30 day numbers and the recap of that 30 days, I uploaded nine videos. So it was two videos every single week for the first month, I did not miss. And like I said, I gained 83 subscribers organically, but it was an entire month of learning. All I was doing was learning. I was learning how to edit videos. I was learning what the hell YouTube analytics were and all these statistics that YouTube were throwing at me. And I was also learning how to talk on camera and script a video. There was just so much to get my head around. It wasn't so much about trying to provide great content. I was trying to provide great content, but really the first month for me was just about learning how the whole thing worked. Um, and then also too, I was also trying to establish what my brand looked like, what my page looked like, what my thumbnails looked like, what my YouTube banner head looked like as well. There was a lot of like, even my logo, I was basically trying to create everything for the very first time within that 30 days. So it was very much a self-centered month, me just looking at it all from a, a personal standpoint, not so much from a, a position of trying to create great content for the, the viewer on the other side. But for me, it was a whole month of learning. I got my head around a lot of things and it was able to let me sort of jump into month number two. So by the second month, I was just firstly wrapped to have made it through my first ever month of YouTube. I consistently put up my two videos a week. I was feeling pretty good about things. And I thought because I was enjoying the process, I would up my video count from two a week to three a week. And I thought that that would just increase my numbers, increase my watch time, just generally get me to my goals a little bit quicker. And if we have a look at the analytics for what that second month brought me, I ended up getting 3,600 views within a 30 day period, which was a massive jump off the 847 that I had in the first month. From those 60 first month watch hours, I grew in the second month to 329 watch hours in just my second month month and I gained 192 subscribers as well. So it was an awesome month of growth and really the big catalyst for I guess why it grew was one, obviously the YouTube channel grew from two videos a week to three, but that's when the business development came into it. I grew from 83 organic subscribers to 192 subscribers in a massive second month because I was starting to DM people on Instagram every single day. It became an absolute mission for me that one hour in the morning and one hour at night, I was gonna be messaging people and trying to get people to subscribe to the channel. And after two months, I was sitting on about 200 subscribers, or a little over actually, it was about 280 subscribers after two months. So that had a large impact on it. It was marketing my channel, that sort of commenced. Um, I also introduced that third video was a new series. It was a trip to the thrift. I brought that in in my second month. I'd never done that style of video before. And I brought that in and that sort of gained and, and picked up a bit of traction in that second month. So I was enjoying the fact that because the numbers were boosting, I figured that three videos a week just seemed to work for me. It was a lot of work. I was probably putting in about 15 hours every single week to put up three videos but I was starting to see the numbers increase. So that kept me getting motivated after I was seeing that and allowed me to jump into month number three with a bit of motiv motivation. So if we jump into my analytics for what happened during the 30 days of my third month, I was able to pick up five and a half thousand views in my third month and my watch time hours was 540, which I was absolutely wrapped with because I had the goal of trying to hit 4,000 hours of watch time. So to get 540 in just one month was awesome. And I was also able to pick up 164 subscribers by continuing with my business development uh, approach. So for that third month, nothing had really changed in the sense of how many videos I was uploading. Three was my number and I was just continued to this very day, I was gonna continue to add three new videos every single week. I grew 440 subscribers organically for that month and I continued to market my channel, but also I started to collaborate. I started to collaborate with other YouTubers. I've done in the last five months since I first started. I've done two collaborations. I had my first ever collaboration on my third month and I saw a boost in my numbers. I saw a boost in my subscribers after doing that. I think it's a great way to get your name out there is to collaborate with other YouTubers within your niche. And I also subscribed to Epidemic Sound for some really quality music for my trip to the thrift video, the third video that I brought into the channel. I needed music to make that video um, more uplifting 
and uh, Epidemic Sound is a great site to be able to get free, great royalty-free music um, to put on your YouTube channel. So it was tweaks to my editing um, along the way. That third month was Epidemic Sound and it was just slowly building my editing skills, but it was collaborating and it was daily marketing and it was just continuing to be consistent with three new videos every single week. So now we're into my fourth month on YouTube and my fourth month was a huge month of growth. If we have a look at the stats here, I gained 9,000 views in that 30 day period for my fourth month on YouTube. I gained 988 watch hours, which is basically a quarter of what you need to get monetized within a 12 month period. I was able to do it within just 30 days, 988. I got a quarter of what I needed for monetization. And I picked up 324 new subscribers within a 30 day window. So a huge month of growth. And really when you look at the breakdown of what took place in my fourth month, nothing changed from what I'd done in the first three months. I continued to do three videos every single week. I grew 762 subscribers organically, and I continued to market my YouTube channel as I always had done on Instagram and Facebook. And I started to continually collaborate with other YouTubers as well. I did my second collaboration. so. It slowly had grown. I'm up to 760 now after four months. I'm thinking potentially I could go under six months to gain my first thousand subscribers. I figured if I just kept doing what I was doing, the numbers are going in the right direction. Maybe I'll get that first thousand under six months. So let's have a look at the fifth month of analytics. And in my fifth month, it was again, another month of really, really good growth. I gained 13.4 thousand views in just a 30 day period. And look at that, I gained 1.8 hundred hours of watch time in 30 days almost half of what I needed to get monetized in just a 30 day window. And I picked up 305 new subscribers in my fifth month. So when you look at the final numbers there for where we're at pretty much here today, I've now got 1,080 new subscribers organically built on my YouTube channel, continually doing three videos every single week, marketing my channel daily on Instagram, and I've now only got 300 hours left. I'm up to 3,700. I've got 300 hours left to monetization as we speak, which should hopefully hit within about three to four days time from the date of this recording. Um, I'll be monetized officially on YouTube, which is a tick over obviously five months after first starting out, which I'm wrapped about. Um, but as you can see, pretty much from the second or the third month, when I made the flip from two videos a week to three videos a week and bringing in that new video trip to the thrift on a Thursday, I haven't really changed a lot. I've just remained consistent. And that's why I made it tip number one, because if you just do the little things right daily and you don't fall off the perch and you keep maintaining good consistent behavior, the numbers just build themselves. And you'd really just need to continue to maintain the consistent uploading and the consistent high quality content, be yourself, do all the things that I spoke of in the tips and the numbers just grow. You don't need to change anything, it just simply happens. So hopefully that depicts there just how it snowballs and how it grows really fast if you just consistently do the little things right. Um, to illustrate my point as best as I possibly can, I've collated the five months into three graphs, views, subscribers, and watch time. And you'll see that the graph literally goes up and up and up every single month to the point of where we're at today. So the first one, is my subscribers. Let's have a look at the graph. Here you can see five months of YouTube subscriber growth from day one, starting from scratch. Like I said in the breakdown, my first month I gained 83, then I gained 193, then I gained 164. These two months of month two and three, I'm doing my DMing. Then I go up in month number four, to another 322 to 762. And then today, here we are, 308 more in month number five, and I'm sitting on, well, 1,070, 1,080. So I've hit the 1,000 in five months, three videos every single week. If we have a look at the views, the views are very, very much similar to the subscriber graph. I had 847, and then I had a massive jump of 3,500. Then I had another five and a half thousand, and then 9,000, and then 13,700. So now have pretty much 30, close to 33,000 views on my YouTube channel in five months. 
Uh, and the last one as well is the monetization graph, um, getting to that 4,000 hours within a 12 month window. Well, hopefully it's gonna be within five months. Um, I've been able to get 60 subscribers in that first month. It then grew to 329 promoting on Instagram. Then I picked up 541, then I picked up 987. And then finally I've picked up 1,783 watch hours within the space of just 30 days in that fifth month. So the other graphs that kind of depict the process, the fact that if you just continue to do the little things right, you will get to where you wanna be and it's just a matter of just being consistent. So I, I don't know how many times I've said that word throughout this video, but it really is probably the biggest thing that I can really let you guys take away from, from this video today. If you do that, it will work out and you will get to your first thousand subscribers quicker than you think possible. So. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what your thoughts were on all of that information. I know there are a lot of numbers and graphs there, a lot of sort of hints, tips, and tricks. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on best practice. And if you're watching this video and you do have a thousand subscribers already, let me know what your biggest secret or your biggest tip was in the comments below to help the people that are watching that aren't quite at that 1,000 that wanna get there because it's all about helping everybody on this thing and I really wanna get as many people as I possibly can that are wanting to get into YouTube to that 1,000 subscriber level because it's absolutely possible. I started from scratch five months ago and here we are with a 1,000 subscribers. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got a heap of value out of it. If you're still here watching now, give the video a like. It's very, very much appreciated. That's it for me though. Hope you've got a heap out of it. Look forward to seeing you at the 1,000 subscriber level sometime soon. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.